Hey YouTube, Chrissy G here. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an awesome week this week. Today we're gonna jump right in and we're gonna talk about dead connections. Dead connections. Think about it, who are you connected to that is doing absolutely nothing for you? And I'm not talking about buying you stuff or the physical or material things. I'm talking about doing something for your purpose, for your passion, for your gifting. What are they adding to the relationship? What are they helping to fuel in your life? If your answer is absolutely nothing, then why are these people still in your life? A lot of times we get frustrated with God because we're stuck in a season and we think that we have done enough or experienced enough to merit us being uh, pushed forward and progressed into our next season, into the next level. But God is waiting on you because he can't take you where he wants you to go because you have dead weight. You have this weight hanging on about you and holding on to you and pulling you back and weighing you down and God wants you to release yourself and break free from those people from those things that are holding you back yes I understand that some of those people could be your best friend it could be a cousin your mom your dad I don't know but there are certain relationships that are for a season and a lot of times we are not where we want to be in life because we have not recognized that those relationships those friendships those acquaintances have reached their expiration date and are now bad connections they're doing nothing. You plug into them and there is no power. There is no fueling happening. Happening. There's nothing going on in that connection. And so we're just carrying around dead weight. We're carrying around people who leech on us for our purpose, for our favor, for the blessing that God has on us. They are simply connected to us because they want to grasp what God is doing for you. They want to pull from it. They want to be blessed too, but they don't know how to go out and get their own blessings. So they're just going to leech off of your blessings. You need to be able to recognize these people in your life. And I'm not saying cut them off in a mean way, but recognize where the relationship is and move on from there. You don't have to keep on holding on. You don't have to keep on chasing them and uh, jumping whatever they call recognize where you are in your life, recognize what your purpose is. And, and when you know this and when you realize this, you'll realize why people are attached to you. You'll realize what this person's intentions are, what this person needs from you, and you will act accordingly. Give them what they need and move on because you don't have time to sit around carrying a bunch of dead weight. You need to be light. You need to be prepared. You need to be ready and able to move to the next level that God has for you. And where God is trying to take you, everybody can't go. Everybody can't go. Everyone's not invited to the picnic. Okay? <laughs> so where God is trying to take you, you need to understand that sometimes you'll have to go it alone. Yes, there are going to be opportunities when you get where God is trying to take you for you to bring other people up that God has established and ordained for that purpose. But you also need discernment to recognize those opportunities as well and those people as well, because it may not be who you think it is. So I need you to understand that bad connections lead to dead ends. It leads to dead purposes, unfulfilled desires, unfulfilled goals, and useless gifts. Gifts that aren't being used for their purpose are useless to you, useless to the kingdom, useless to the people who are the intended recipients of those gifts. So I just want to challenge someone today to kind of evaluate your life and your friendship and relationship roster and kind of start eliminating people um and it's harsh but it happens and sometimes if you can't do it god will do it for you so and i've learned that the hard way <laughs> because i've had friends and i've had acquaintances where anytime they call what do you need i'm here for you because that's the type of person i am and that's me operating in my gifting but for the wrong purpose and giving it to the wrong people and connecting to bad connections that were yielding no fruit. So God removed me from the situation and those relationships and those connections died off. And rather than chasing them and trying to pursue them, I'm like, hmm, 
okay god distance has made me wiser and i'm now understanding that you wanted me to disconnect from these people you wanted me to move forward and it wasn't any love lost it wasn't as dramatic as deleting them on facebook or whatever because i still wish them well and i still care about them but where god is trying to take me they can't go so I don't know who this message is for. I don't know who you're allowing to still ride along with you on your journey and glean from you, but beware and be wise to know when it's time to let go, to know when you've reached that expiration date and the relationship is now sour. It's now a bad connection. And God wants you to cut off that dead weight and move forward so that you can be stronger, wiser, and greater. Because our goal here is to just is continue pressing forward. Our goal here is to be great, is to achieve our best selves and to, you know, find out what our purpose is and connect that with our passion and just drive through that. And we can't do that if we have people holding us back, if we have people stealing from us, essentially. Stealing, you know, our gifting, stealing our purpose, stealing our attention when we should be focused on something else, when we should be focused on our future and what God has for us. So I want to challenge you to evaluate the friendships and the relationships that are in your life and see if they are offering any type of benefit. If there is no benefit, if all you see is void, if all you see is need, as in them needing you, them pulling from you, then it's time to sever that connection because that's a bad connection. And that's not what you need in your life because where you're trying to go, you can't take dead weight with you. You can't, you just can't. I get it. If you had a friend for 20, 30, 40 years, you're like, no way can I cut myself off from them. No way can I, you know, do this drastic thing and remove them from my life or at least limit my exposure to them. You have to be willing to do the radical thing to get radical results. You have to be willing to do the things that are difficult in order to see where God is trying to take you, to go where God is trying to take you, and to be who God is trying to get you to become. And a lot of times that's doing the scary, difficult, you know, thing that you don't want to do. That's cutting off a 30-year friendship or relationship, and that's saying, this is not healthy for me right now. This is not working for me right now. This is not fueling me right now. And I have to shift my focus over here to what is beneficial to me, to what is fueling me, to what is blessing me, to what is allowing me to become my best self so that I can be a blessing to others. That is your focus. That is your goal. Somebody else's feelings can't be in the equation because you can't be worried about everybody's feelings when you're trying to be worried about your purpose, your goal, your your greatness, you know, and doing the things that you have been called to do. Sometimes you have to be strong enough to do what is best for you, even if that means hurting someone else or cutting someone else off. And I don't mean like intentionally hurting someone, you know, with the intentions of being mean or cruel. I mean hurting someone with, I got to cut this relationship off because it's not healthy for either of us and it's not beneficial for either of us or for me. <laughs> it might be beneficial for you, but it's not beneficial for me, so I got to go. I just want to encourage someone today, whoever's in this situation, whoever's dealing with dead connections, it's time to let go. It's time to cut it off and move on so that you can reach the next level to where God is trying to take you. Be blessed. Be amazing. Have a great week. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.